Okay, I'm going to show off the new laser solderer tool inside Chili Pepper. You'll notice there's a new button up here called Laser Solder. And I'm connected to uh, an Arduino Leonardo on a different port than my Tiny G. You'll notice down here there's a checkbox next to that, but the Tiny G is uh, checked as well, but it's green. And we're going to go ahead and get started, and then I'll explain to you what's going on as we're running the job. So. I'm going to throw on my safety glasses really quick and I'm going to hit play. This board that is on the CNC machine that is going to actually get soldered. So you can see the pace on there. And I'm going to go start soldering. So what it's doing is it's moving to each location. We're going at a really high um, feed rate, and I uh, am soldering with a laser as we do this. So I'm gonna. Um, you'll you'll notice that there is some smoke coming off. It's kind of hard to tell from that video feed, but let's see if we can get this in focus here. So what I've actually done to uh, to get this to work is I have used um, CamBam to read in the DXF of the um, Eagle PCB, and I drew squares around the specific areas that should get soldered. And then I dumped that out to a CAM file, and that's what's running inside Chili Pepper right now. Those are much larger pads that are being soldered right now. We'll see how this comes out. You'll notice, too, then, that the assembly is actually made out of acrylic. Please forgive the fact that I've got some USB cams taped to the acrylic for now. Um, there was a slot made for one, but it didn't quite line up. And you'll notice here that that is actually an MLX, uh, a Malexus infrared heat sensor. And that is the uh, heat value coming back from the object temperature to kind of monitor what's going on. Now, I'm not that thrilled with the heat coming back because that's got to be up around a few hundred degrees to get that solder to melt. Um, but it's working for now. So let's see how we're doing here. You notice that some of the dabs I did were um, not super accurate, so how it comes out. I'm, actually, I'm also running this at a really high uh, feed rate. Let me show you the feed rate I'm running at. Um, although, to be frank, I'm running at 3x, but I set the feed rate to 35 on, the, um, uh, on these little profile operations. So I'm really only running at about you know, 100 millimeter per minute feed rate. Um, so the way that this laser solderer works, as it's running here, is you put the uh, Z value that if you fall below it, it will turn the laser on. And when you're above it, it turns the laser off. So you'll just kind of notice that, you know, as you go into CamBam uh, or, or whatever G-code creator you're using, that you're going to get these um, clearance Z heights. And I did another video where I was watching the M3 and the M5 command, the spindle on, spindle off, and I wasn't getting great timing. I'm actually getting really good timing by watching the Z value instead. So it's a decent technique. may not be what I stick with, but for now, I think it's, it's pretty dead simple to just use the Z value. So look at this max temp. You'll notice the ambient temperature is actually around the same as the object temperature. Rarely is it getting like a, a one degree above it. The The real kicker though is that the uh, infrared heat sensor I'm using has about a 90 degree um, 
field of view, and I really need to get one that's got a much narrower field of view on it. They do sell one that's got a five degree. Uh, you'll notice though that, you know, I'm getting up to like 42. Um, I think because it's averaging out what it sees in its field of view, I'm really getting obviously a much higher temperature because you can kind of see the smoke coming off in the video um, as we run this. Um, the smoke just from the the uh, solder paste, uh, the flux, not from the board. Although we'll inspect it afterwards and actually see how it came out because this is the first run I'm doing. One of the things I'm finding that's really important is to <clears throat> get the correct location. And if you get a little bit off, you end up burning the FR4 and the uh, epoxy, which I may be doing here. And this is just a test run. We'll see if we can turn down the power a little bit, see if that helps. Um, so I, did, I built this uh, board in uh, Eagle. Yeah, it looks like I'm way off there, or that I'm, I'm burning stuff. Um, let's actually pause the job when it comes above. Let's pause. OK, so. When it's above 0.8 on the z-axis, so I'm at 1.4, the laser automatically turns off. When it goes below, uh, we're okay. And so I'm just looking right now. I'm definitely burning the board a little bit. Uh, let's let it run though. We'll keep we'll keep going here and um, see what we achieve. The uh, you can tell that laser is pretty powerful that it's actually burning the FR4. One of the things I may try is instead of um, trying to sort of trace it with such a broad area that the key is to just find the center location because lining this up is super difficult um, to, to put the board on there and line it up down to the exact position. So I really do need some like fiducial uh, and then image recognition. This is looking pretty bad. So I think I'm going to stop the project after this uh, run and uh, see if I can realign. But let's see how that finishes. Okay, we're about to uh, give this a go again. Um, I used the new <clears throat> set as new start position feature to um, so that I could skip this first row right here of um, items and just start at this row. So we're going to go ahead and hit play, and we should get our laser to go. Oh, it looks like we're burning again. We'll turn it down a little, and let's pause. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is we'll stop. So 271 is the line we're at, so we'll stop. We'll go back to zero. We'll nudge forward 0.1 of a millimeter. That's funny. I shouldn't have the solder go on. But anyway, we'll go 0.1. We'll re-zero out. We'll make this the new start position. We'll send G code. Not that we really have to do that. but And we will go ahead and continue. Okay, and we'll pause after this to inspect, because we definitely got a lot of smoke. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe we just have too much power. That's really fascinating. All right, well, let's try again. Laser's on. We'll lower the, um, we'll lower the power. I really may just need to do some centering uh, instead of trying to trace the contours because it just doesn't really seem to be cutting it. One of the things that I've got um, that is still not quite implemented correctly is I have this uh, PID that I'm supposed to be using with this infrared heat sensor and I am a little, I did think that was going to be key here and I'm just not getting an accurate enough reading off that infrared sensor. Let's see how these go. These are even smaller pads, so it's probably even riskier whether these will work. 
Okay, so you can see that some of these actually soldered okay. Um, it really was maybe this guy right here that soldered the best. And it's because of the amount of power. The amount of power I had running was the correct amount. And so the alignment was pretty good. You're seeing a lot of bubbling. We did end up with some solder on, on some parts. Over here we got obliterated, but we got some good solders, well, some decent ones. We still got a lot of bubbling. So this um, this technique is going to require a lot of extra work to think through. Uh, but it's got some potential. I think that the key will be the heat control. Okay, I'm just giving you a quick walkthrough of this acrylic uh, holder that I created to mount a, uh, a laser. It's sort of a standard 9 millimeter laser, but there's a heat sink here uh, because these get pretty hot. This is the breakout board right here that just has uh, some wires. It's a Ethernet cable, but it's holding the uh, heat sensor underneath the board. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. And then that just indicates it's on. Um, there's also an indicator to show if the laser is on, so I'll turn it on really quick, But the and it's just a, another LED. And that kind of helps when you're testing out the um, the code and the widget inside Chili Pepper to kind of know if uh, the correct commands are being sent. Um, so that's about it. There's also a holder here for a USB we uh, microscope with a couple of little, um, you know, little uh, set screws here to kind of hold it in because you really want to see what's going on. Uh, the angle on that USB microscope's not quite uh, perfect yet, but there's uh, it works somewhat okay. And then it just has the standard uh, bolt mounts for the spindle on the shape Oco. Um, those pieces were milled out and then just either crazy glued together. You'll notice that the laser itself to line it up, there's actually some slots that it can slide along because there's actually a very small hole to um, send the laser through right there in the middle. And that is what was used to solder this board. This is just some video of the actual milling of the acrylic pieces, which of course were done on the shape of uh, using uh, more like a two and a half millimeter uh, end mill. And this is kind of the final bottom piece of the acrylic. This, uh, this is the design of the uh, item in uh, FreeCAD. FreeCAD is actually a pretty nice uh, app. I used it maybe a year or two ago and had some issues, but they've updated it. And I'm finding uh, that it's, it's pretty slick um, because when you're doing a lot of milling, you uh, you really need some precise stuff. So you know when you go, for instance, um, to look at how some of the stuff was laid out. Um, let's see, what's the laser support? But if we go to like this pocket right here, this these are the um, oops sorry, the, these are all the holes for the heatsink mount, and you know those are sort of very much a CAD model. Doing this inside like uh, Google SketchUp is not easy, and um, to then export it out to like Kanban to do milling is not as good. And so, uh, I highly recommend checking out FreeCAD uh, because the their constraint model um, that they use to you know make holes and and things like that is is pretty slick. Um, and you just kind of build up your pieces like even the Malexus. Uh, breakout board was sort of modeled with exactly where stuff needs to line up. Uh, so uh, a pretty good way to do that. And then <clears throat> I will also show you um, an eagle to do this uh, circuit board, um, which I still got to work on, you know, because I'm not happy with the, the infrared sensor. It's a pretty simple schematic, frankly. Uh, in fact, I was able to borrow this from... Um, I believe the breakout board from SparkFun for the MLX. And then I mounted mine on the bottom, so I actually had to rotate it around. 
pretty simple breakout board. And then, of course, CamBam's pretty darn useful for uh, the, the final. This was actually the solder paste stencil for that board. And to go, um, you know, actually create these profile operations for the laser to follow. Oops, sorry. So, you know, a lot of different tools being used to create it all. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's got... It's got good potential. I'm still not happy at all with the results because I burned the board. But I think with a better feedback loop here, uh, it, it could be doable or just some other sort of tweaking and, and tuning. I may even be able to, you know, detect the size of the pad based on, you know, area and how long to pulse the laser for. So I'll keep working on it. But it sure is uh, exciting to be able to bring all of this together um, into Chili Pepper and, uh, and, and sort of be able to combine some really advanced functionality uh, that wasn't possible before in any other G-Code package. So, by the way, there is a uh, GitHub page I made for the laser solderer. It is at github.com slash chili peppers slash laser solder. Uh, that um, contains the Arduino code, the Chili Pepper widget code, which you don't really need, but the Eagle and the FreeCAD files. Uh, there's a little readme here that kind of uh, walks you through the widget and then the Arduino code, which is a pretty small amount of code. It just kind of toggles on and off a pin for the laser, but it's got the um, Alexis uh, library in there for reading that uh, infrared sensor. It's got some links to the actual laser that I'm using. Uh, and then there's the Eagle schematics for just the really quick, simple breakout board and the FreeCAD design. You can download FreeCAD for free and open up the design and modify it. Uh, you know, it's not the best design. It's version one, but it's, uh, it's a good start. So enjoy uh, helping all of us in the Chili Pepper community. Uh, figure out how to take uh, CNC milling way beyond where it's been, uh, and in particular, um, trying to get this laser soldering technique to work. Thanks. Thanks for watching.